Hey guys, so they just launched multi-user accounts, um, I believe two days ago, or at least two days from when this posted yesterday for me. Um, on the 18th, they launched multi-user accounts and app sharing. So if you want to do it, it is an experimental feature that you can access here in your headset. All you have to do is go all the way to the right to settings, and then you have to scroll all the way down to experimental features and then scroll down a little bit over here to multiple accounts and library sharing I already have this turned on you just need to turn it on and then once it's turned on you'll have this tab over here on the left for accounts click on that and here you can manage the accounts and add up to three other people okay so we'll go down here we're gonna add an account right now Okay, so I just went through the whole setup pr process for a new account. It basically just does it as if it's a brand new person to Oculus. And um, so now I just set it up for my wife. And you can come over here to the settings, to accounts, if you ever want to get rid of somebody, or to enable or disable app sharing. Now this is important because you can only share your apps on one headset at a time. So if you have multiple headsets in the house, you can switch between which headset you're sharing. Um, you don't always have to be the same one. You can turn it on and off, but it can only be for one headset at a time. So let's say you have two headsets and you wanted to play. You would have to be logged into both of them as the primary user. And then on one of those, you would have to enable app sharing so that somebody else could play on their account. And then you would be able to play on your account on the other headset. So that's basically how that works. Um, if you want to switch whatever account you're using, you just have to come over here to your username. And then you come over here to the right to hit switch account. And that's gonna allow you to switch to another account. And it, by default, there is a lock screen with each account. I don't think there's a way to turn that off right now. Cause personally, I don't mind. I don't care if my wife gets on my account. But if you do um, want to block people or not let them be able to get onto your account, it's by default. There's a lock screen, a lock pattern that you have to do. Um, and that's pretty much it. So now um, my wife can now get on to the Oculus Quest. She has access to all of these games pre-installed on there. And she can play and get her own stats, her own level ups, everything for her as opposed to playing for me. And that's really, really awesome. So they released this article with it um, about app sharing and it's got a few points on it that you just want to make sure that you understand. For now, the admin account, aka the account you use to set up your headset, can add up to three additional accounts and enable app sharing on a single device. Remember, this is experimental. It might change as more households begin to own multiple Quest devices. So that's what I was telling you earlier. You can only have it on for one device, uh, which I think is annoying because if you wanted to play with, like, let's say, three or four people, you, you now can't do that without buying the game more than once, um, more than twice at least, because you could only play with up to two people right now the way it's set up. To use multi-user and app sharing, the admin and additional account holders must each log into their shared device with their respective Facebook accounts. Not really a surprise, that's just how it is now. Additional account holders can only access the admin account holder's shared apps on the device where app sharing is enabled. If the additional account holder purchases their own device or already has their own device, they won't be able to access the admin account's shared apps on their own headset. And this makes sense. If you know my wife decided to get her own headset, the only way she'd be able to use my stuff is if she was still logged in as a secondary account. Additional account holders may purchase their own apps and content on shared devices, but these apps won't be shared with either the admin account or other additional accounts. Again, I think this makes sense. I think they're just trying to avoid it so that, you know, I don't share my account with like my brother who lives across the country and then we just both buy games for each other. Um, I just think that's just what they're trying to avoid here. You can still log into multiple devices at the same time, however, you will not be able to use the same account to run the same app across multiple devices simultaneously. Different accounts can concurrently access a shared app on multiple headsets, keeping in mind that you can only enable app sharing on a single device at the moment. That confirms that they're allowing multiplayer between a shared game. That means if I wanted to play Population 1 with my wife, all we gotta do is have two headsets, I'm logged into both of them, she's added as a secondary account holder to one of them, and she plays on that one while I play on the other. 
and we'll be able to play some games together, which is really awesome. The admin account cannot be changed without a factory reset. The admin account can add additional accounts, but additional accounts cannot add other accounts. So yeah, that makes sense. Again, you have to be the admin account to control everything, and that's just basic standard stuff. I would like to see a guest feature where you could just have, like, let's say your friend is playing and have them log in as a guest, kind of like what's on consoles right now, where none of their stuff is saved. They're just using a guest account. That would be really nice, but I don't think that'll happen. But anyways that's it for this video i appreciate you guys watching if you aren't subscribed please subscribe down below we'll be doing a face reveal at 10,000 subs and if you have any questions let me know down below or jump in the discord and we can chat about it but that's it i'm out wow my first game and i gotta win